Hey guys, Mick Hayes here representing Move the Needle Music and welcome to this week's edition of The Week Beat. Diving right in, I apologize it's been a few days. I've been having a number of camera issues here. I bought $1,200 worth of camera gear and it's not working, so, but I digress. First thing first, a record I just grabbed yesterday. Sorry, does not have product focus. That was in the camera that's not working. Anyway, uh, this is a great record. I just got it yesterday. I listened to it three times already, easily. Um, it was Carol Thomas's record. She wrote on it in pencil. Uh, but Kelly Owens and his combo, some great, like, kind of, uh, it's just like funky. Uh, it's right up my alley. That's all I'll say. On one side is Wing Ding, and on the other side is Tweety. You would dig both songs and feel free to tweet about it. Uh, the next record that I've had out all week long will be featured in an upcoming episode of You Can't Get That On iTunes. Make sure you follow those too. Uh, and if you have any input on them, give me it. I'm, uh, I'm looking for it. I've done it two different ways now and we're still working on it. But this is Sandra Grimes. Uh, this is some cool old 1953 juke joint blues. On one side is You Didn't Give Me A Chance and on the other side, Be Good To Yourself. Um, this is a great record and it will be eventually for sale on my web store through both eBay and MoveTheNeedleMusic.com. More on that later. First 33, Jimmy Smith. This is a cool guest star pressing. Um, I wasn't familiar with it as a matter of fact and a friend of mine, John, was having uh, kind of a vinyl uh, get together, we'll call it, at his house and this was this was for sale there. So it's a cool record. Uh, doesn't sound quite as good as some of the blue, uh, the blue Note stuff, but great playing nonetheless and who would expect anything less from the great Jimmy Smith. Next up, Tom Scott. I gotta stop for a moment and say this one. When I pulled this out of my collection the other day, I said to myself, go, why isn't this one out more often? This is a funky, cool record. It's called Street Beat. Nothing cooler than the look of that old 70s dashboard on a Cadillac. And I absolutely love this record. This came out in 1979, um, and it's got all the heavy hitters on it. All Tom Scott records do. Tom Scott is a heavy hitter of his own. So dig this record. I know that you're going to like it. And the last record that's out today will transition me, of course, perfectly into mentioning my record because this was recorded at Muscle Shoals Sound in Muscle Shoals, Alabama. Bon Skaggs, this is the record that has uh, the great Dwayne Allman on it. And um, uh, as you can see from the photo here in the middle, uh, this one is in great shape. It's in really, really great shape. And I'm excited to uh, pass this one along because I have three copies of this in my collection and it's time to start parting with some of them. So that leads me to my next final segment, <laughs> uh, mentioning my record, which was recorded at Fame Studios right down the street from where that one was recorded in legendary Muscle Shoals, Alabama. And it's called My Claim to Fame. You can buy it today through my website, my record label at movetheneedlemusic.com. It's also available through Amazon, Prime eligible, and streaming everywhere. So that's all for this week, folks. I hope you guys are enjoying everything that I've been putting up here for the last month. It's really actually only been like three or four, three or four months that I've been really working hard at this. So if you'll take a moment, click that like button, smash the bell, as they say, and uh, follow along with everything that I've got going on. Also, leave something in the comments below. I, I just want to kind of get to know folks. I've been hanging out with myself long enough here in the house while I talk to some people. So that's all for this week, folks. See you next time.